Hey guys, what's going on? So if you've seen my videos before, you've seen me at this fillet table many a times filleting fish. And you guys always see me throw the fish carcasses into the canal. Now, a lot of you always say, why don't you fish in there, fish in there, I wanna see what you can catch. So that's what we're doing today. I got a bag full of pilchards here that were frozen in my freezer and I defrosted them. I'm going to start chopping them up into small pieces, throwing them in the canal, and then we're gonna see what comes. So I've lived in this house my entire life. I grew up fishing in this water, We've caught snook, we've caught tarpon, we've caught barracudas, snappers, jacks, catfish, eels. We've even caught ladyfish back here, pufferfish, scorpionfish, stingrays. We've caught tons of different things back here. And over the years, we've seen a change in what comes in the canal. Years ago, you could catch a limit of snapper out here, a nice sized snapper. Over the years, the snapper population has gotten a lot smaller and now there's a bunch of baby snappers, so a new population's coming in. And now we have a giant population of hardhead catfish. Anytime you come out here, you can throw a stone in the water, you can throw a leaf in the water, and a school of catfish will come to it. There are just so many catfish, and years ago, if we caught one catfish, it was very rare. So it's incredible how we've seen so many differences in this canal as I've been growing up. And believe it or not, I've never ate a catfish out of this canal. That's gonna be the plan today. We're gonna go fishing, we're gonna see what we can catch. Right now it's kind of high tide, but we have an outgoing tide. And normally on outgoing tides, when you start throwing things in the water, things come very quick because the smell's heading out, the fish smell it, and they're coming in. If you have an incoming tide, it kinda of takes a little bit longer for jacks and things to smell it before they finally find the trail and make it to your house. So it's actually perfect right now that we have an outgoing tide. So I'm gonna start throwing these in and we're gonna see what comes. Look at that. Already have a bunch of catfish. Snap. There's some snappers. Ooh, there is a big um, snapper down there. You just have to stick this in the water, Jack. Bark, he's a good size. All right, so we just had a couple of jack crevels come through. Now the thing about jacks in the canal is they're really smart. They can literally see you throw pieces in. You can throw it far and they'll go out and chase it. I have some video from a couple days ago when we were feeding the jacks. I'll show that now. They missed it. No, they got it. Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna throw pieces in and let's see if he, they eat them. Tell me if he's eating them. Oh yeah, he's eating them alright. Yeah? Yeah, he ate it right away. You're going for the cats? No. You're eight? Or whatever wants it gets. You're eight, aren't you? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We got a catfish, we got a catfish. Oh, it's not even that small either. <gasps> oh my gosh, did you hear that? Yeah, luckily he has a hard head. Let's get him over here in the grass. I'm gonna get my pliers. Now this is a hard head catfish. They have a hard head and that's why they're called hard head catfish. Now these guys are actually venomous. They have three spines. They have one right here on the top of their dorsal fin right there. They have one on each side of their pectoral fin. So they have three venomous spines. Now if they stab you, they release the venom into you and the spines are also serrated. So if it gets into your skin, pulling it out is gonna be bad because they're serrated the opposite direction of wanting to pull them out. And then the slime is also mildly toxic. So now you're getting mildly toxic slime into your stab. But as long as you're not getting stabbed by them, they're fine to touch as long as you properly know how to handle them, you realize their spines and you're careful with them. And you can actually eat them as long as you're not getting spined by them, they're fine to eat. They're not poisonous, they're just venomous. Now I'm gonna let this one go. They're very hardy fish. I wanna try to get a couple bigger ones than that. And I also hooked him right at the corner of the mouth. So if I do got hook one, then I'll keep that one. But that one was hooked perfectly on the side of the mouth. And he was kind of small, so just let that one go. All right, guys, I'm trying to catch the elusive Folgers coffee container. Check it out. Classic roast. 
them all the way across this pool. Oh boy, that's not the way they want to pick this thing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, you thought it was going to be heavy? It's a coffee container. Found that in the, in the water? Yeah, uh -huh. it's floating. Do you drink Are Folgers? You YouTube channels? What's that? Do you drink Folgers? Yeah. Are you guys making YouTube channels? Brooke is. YouTube videos. Yeah, if you catch something, we'll put you on the video. So you got to catch something. There we go. Johnny, catch me a catfish. Catch her a fish. You got to stand up. Hold that pole like this. Yes, Alright guys, so we got something on the ballyhoo. I'm guessing it's a catfish. I haven't seen it yet. Woo, it's a nicer catfish. Here he comes. Swinging him over. That's a bigger one. Sketch me out so bad. Like I said, I was gonna keep the ones that swallowed the hooks, which this one swallowed it, and he's a little bit bigger size, which is good. So I'm actually gonna keep this one to eat this guy. These are actually part of the unregulated species. So you can either keep two fish or 100 pounds per person per day, whichever is greater. So let's say a catfish was 50 pounds and you caught two 50 pound catfish, <laughs> then that would be your limit for the day or you catch a bunch until it reaches the 100 pound limit. So we're gonna keep this guy. So this is their spine up there, right at the front. One there, one here, and then one on the other side. Oh, we got a baby. Look at this guy. Teeny weeny. No wonder we were missing you so many times because you're so small. Now I'm using this towel to kind of help me so I'm not getting stung. These smaller ones are what people normally get stung by because they're so much smaller and harder to hold and handle. But he was barely hooked, I'm going to let him go. Get Vic. A catfish. Got yourself a cat. It's like the same size as the one I caught. So as Brick was saying, their spines will get you, so you gotta be really careful when unhooking them. And this guy's actually hooked in the throat, so we're gonna go ahead and just cut the hook since we're going to consume him anyway. So I'm just gonna cut it like that, but very carefully. His spine wants to shoot up, so don't ever try to come at it from behind the spine you can kind of hold it down like this. So definitely go from the head towards the tail. Got him. Got him? Mm-hmm. I got him all on. What do you think, bigger than the last one? Um, same size. And, ooh, he's bigger. And the light turned on, guys. We have this light in the canal. Let's see the fish at night. Normally there's an infestation of catfish. I don't know what went on today. So. This is about the average size. This is like the average size catfish that we get in here. He's making a noise. I don't know if you guys can hear him. All right guys, so it is the next day and last night we ended up catching four catfish and Victor caught this nice big one. Now, I had never flayed a catfish before, so I already flayed this one off camera. I didn't think we were gonna get a lot of meat off of this thing, but those are two nice sized pieces off of this catfish. I was actually very surprised, but they have this giant, this is a rib cage right here, a giant rib cage with a big stomach in here. So I followed up the head meat as far as I could go and then followed the rib cage down and then I did the same thing on the other side, giant rib cage. And you still have to be careful when you're cleaning them because this spine can still get you even though the thing is dead. Now to flay this thing, these are the tools I'm using. This is a Dexter six inch boning knife. And then this is for the skinning, I'm going to use this Dexter eight inch narrow knife. So first we're gonna start with this one. Now, what I did before was 
I started actually with him flat like this. I got my knife in just a little and just followed the spine down. I'm actually going to be filleting this guy from the top down to the stomach. So, trying to see how far up the head meat goes. Now, I've caught plenty of catfish but I've never ate one that I've caught. And I've ate catfish before, but I have no idea what kind of catfish I've ate. People like to call these a trash fish, but if you guys have watched my fiance Victor's videos, you know what he has to say about trash fish. There's no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. And that's what we like to say. So we're gonna give it a try. And the meat looks good. It's not a very bloody fish. So there's the first side. And this is just all stomach. This is just, there's nothing there. This is all bone and then stomach. And then this is his hard head. So this is why they got the name Hardhead Catfish. And that head goes all the way. You hear that? That's not missing meat, that's head. And then this is all stomach and guts down in here. This is all bone. Now to skin it, I'm using the eight inch Dexter. And they have thin skin, but again, if you just go nice and easy, you won't rip through it. Holding it down with one hand and just working my knife down with the other. Now some fish have a bright red layer underneath the skin. Some fish don't have it as bad. Catfish, I guess, do have it very thick. If you were to freeze this and then eat it a while later, that red is what's gonna give you the fishy taste. But if you're eating it fresh, it doesn't really matter. Now I assumed with the first one I filleted that there were pin bones, but if I'm f while feeling the fillet, it really doesn't feel like they have pin bones. Maybe because his rib cage is just so intense, like maybe they just don't have pin bones, but I don't feel any. And of course, my natural instinct is to go like this on any kind of fish that I fillet and cut this part out because this is where you always have pin bones. And I really don't feel anything in there. I don't know if they're just really small and I can't feel them, but I don't know. I don't feel any pin bones. So I'm gonna finish flying up this one and the other two in the cooler, and then I will meet you back in the kitchen to cook these guys up. Ooh, the belly does have meat. A lot. Mm -hmm. Now I just cut into the stomach to see what was in its stomach, which is what I normally do. And I guess they do have some belly meat here behind the head under the rib cage. I got this chunk almost like a cheek of like a grouper. So again, this is my first time filling a catfish. So I didn't know that they had the stomach meat there. So if you want to get all the meat, they do have stomach meat that, that begins behind this peck fin. All right guys, so we got some jacks that came while we were filling the catfish. And surprisingly enough, we didn't have any catfish come. I don't know if they don't like the smell of catfish. And so I'm gonna try to feed these jacks. They're acting all scared. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So I have my catfish fillets here and they look really, really good. I just rinsed them off, dried them off, and now they're ready to season. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna season them with some lemon pepper, and then we're gonna dip them in a little bit of flour with some salt and pepper. Now I'm not trying to fry them, I'm just trying to get a light little crispy layer on them. Now I don't have a ton of lemon pepper left, so we're gonna use it all up. We'll see what we get. We have a skillet on medium high heat with some butter in it. 
and it's nice and hot and now we're gonna put in our seasoned fish. Taking them off, they smell so good. Look at that. Beauteous. Like, what do you think? All right, let me show you guys a little bit of this meat right here. So here's the catfish. Texture is really good. And you know how people say things taste like chicken? Well, if there's one fish that I think tastes slightly like chicken, it would be this. The texture is really good. And who would have known, we've been catching these things in the backyard for years. Brooks had them in her backyard her entire childhood, and they're really tasty. And this is the like one fish that people are terrified to try too. They're like, oh, throw that back, it's a catfish. But it just goes to show you like always, there's no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. And uh, I think the catfish better watch out now that we know how good they <laughs> taste. Mom, what'd you think? I'm surprised. I enjoyed it and I wasn't sure that I would. It was, it was good. Good. Fisher? It was really good and it's not so often that you can catch a meal just steps from your kitchen and that was kind of cool. But yeah, I've never had catfish before from our canal and we have so many, but I, I would eat them again. And Dad? I'm gonna go with what Deb said. I was very surprised too. You know, we've been watching these catfish swarm like piranhas every day at the cleaning station and we never bothered to try and eat one. And um, like what Victor said about the chicken, it has a texture like chicken. When you cut into it, it's it's kind of, you know, you have to push your fork to cut through it just a little bit, but it's it's tasty. It's surprisingly tasty. Well, I agree with everyone, and I really like the catfish too. For such a small fish, it actually had a very big bloodline. So if I were to do it again, I would probably cut out that bloodline. I'm very surprised that was the first time that we ever had catfish from our backyard, but turned out really good and everyone liked it so maybe we'll do it again as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video well i think everyone was happy with the catfish and <laughs> tried it since we but that would probably